Assalamualaikum students, who are you? Hopefully you will be fine. Today we will discuss only three definitions of electrodynamics that are very important to understand the basic phenomenon, the basic concepts of the uh, electrodynamics means current in the conductors and we, when you discuss, when you study about the Poivet and Seibert law and a Peirce law, you have to meet many basic things that we should understand before understanding the important phenomena, important concepts. So first of all, one of them, we will discuss magnetic vector potential. What is that? Since the divergence of any curl is zero, it is reasonable to assume that the magnetic induction may be written as B is equal to del cross A. B is what? B is over here, the magnetic induction, del is operator and A is the vector field and is called the magnetic vector potential. And we put over here a requirement for the A is that del cross B if you take the curl of this magnetic induction B, because we are dealing with the magnetic vector potential, so we just take the curl of this B del cross B is equal to del cross del cross A is equal to mu naught J. This is our equation number 2. And we use another identity that del cross del cross A is equal to del del dot A minus del square A. We use this identity in equation number 2 and get the equation by specifying that del dot A divergence of the magnetic vector potential is equal to 0. We will specify this condition as well. By putting this identity in equation number 2, we get del square A is equal to minus mu naught J. This is our equation number 4. And the solution of this equation number 4 can be obtained by integrating this equation number 4 into its components. Means you can integrate of each of its component and you can use the solution of the Poisson's equation. Then it is a very small mathematics involved behind this uh, story. You can get the Solution of this equation number 4 is that A of R2 is equal to mu naught over 4 pi volume integral J of R1 over R2 minus R1 dV1. So this is the basically magnetic vector potential, a mathematical form of the magnetic vector potential. This was our today's first definition. Now we come to our second definition that is magnetic scalar potential. We use over here the Ampere circuital law. What is that? Del cross B of R2 is equal to mu naught J of R2 indicates that curl of a magnetic induction is 0 when the current density J is equal to 0. Means if you put J over here is equal to 0, this del cross B will be equal to 0. Means curl of the magnetic induction will become 0. So therefore, the magnetic induction in such regions can be written as gradient of a scalar potential. How? This B can be written as minus mu naught del phi star. This is our equation number 1. Here, this phi star is called the magnetic scalar potential. Just like the magnetic vector potential, we have obtained over here the magnetic scalar potential. And however, the divergence of B is also 0, which means that del dot B is equal to minus mu naught. You can take the divergence of this equation number 1, del, del dot B is equal to minus mu naught, del square phi steric, and it's equal to 0. This also satisfies the Laplace equation that we have studied earlier in our earlier chapters. And the third definition is the magnetic flux just like electric flux the quantity phi is equal to b dot n dA this is the surface integral is known as the magnetic flux its units are vapors just like electric flux we use 
if we de uh, define over here the magnetic flux phi is equal to B dot M D A surface integral. And the flux to a closed surface is zero as can be seen by computing. It means if you take the flux into a closed surface, this magnetic flux, then you can write surface integral B dot M D A is equal to volume integral del dot B D V is equal to zero. This is our equation. So, the point is, if you convert the surface integral into the volume integral using Dirac's theorem, and you see that del dot V is equal to zero in this equation number two, and put this del dot V is equal to zero over here, then this surface integral of V dot N becomes zero. That's when we have, we have written over here that flux through a closed surface is zero. These are the two definition. If you have any question from this, uh, these equations, you can ask. Thank you very much.